Hello, and welcome to Serverless 101. My name is Eric Johnson, and I'm a principal developer advocate for Serverless at AWS. Serverless 101 is a video series to help you get acquainted with the AWS services that are serverless. In this video, I cover Amazon Simple Queue Service, also known as SQS. We'll talk about what it does and when you should use it. Let's get started. Amazon Simple Queue Service, or SQS, is a service that allows developers to queue events to be processed in small or large batches, rather than one at a time. Now, you might be asking yourself, why would I need to do that? There are a lot of scenarios where this can prove very helpful. Let's look at one. Let's say I have a service that processes web analytics data. The data comes in very small events, but the system receives thousands of these events per second. I could create an architecture that receives these events through an API gateway and invokes a Lambda function for each event coming in. This is a perfectly viable architecture. However, is it the best architecture? Instead, I can drop the events into an SQS queue and have a single Lambda function process 50 at a time. Because the events are very small, this does not increase the gigabyte seconds of memory used by a significant amount but it greatly reduces the amount of Lambda function invocations that are incurred. Another scenario that SQS is tailor-made for is to protect legacy architecture. Let's say I have an older system that cannot handle the traffic that is coming through, but due to developer constraints or legacy requirements, I cannot retire it. I can place an SQS queue between the world and my legacy application. I can then batch process events at a rate that the legacy system can handle properly. One of the most common patterns with Amazon SQS is to invoke a Lambda function to process the event batches. Batches are a group of events that are stored in the queue. Instead of the Lambda function getting one at a time, you can configure multiple events to be sent as a batch during a single Lambda function invocation. In fact, SQS and Lambda work together to ensure the events are processed and removed from the queue properly. The Lambda service automatically pulls the SQS service for new events. When the batch criteria are met, the Lambda function is invoked to process the events. If the Lambda service returns a successful 200 response, the events are then removed from the queue. If there's a problem processing the batch, SQS will retain the events and retry based on the configured retry strategy. If the events cannot be processed, they can then be dropped into a dead letter queue for troubleshooting. Amazon SQS offers several knobs and levers that allow you to control how the events are processed. You can set a batch size so that batches have to be a certain size before they are processed. You can set a batch window so the system does not wait for new records indefinitely. By default, order may not be maintained within the SQS queue, however, SQS offers a first-in, first-out, or FIFO queue that will maintain order in a queue. One thing to know when using Amazon SQS and other integration services, Amazon SQS guarantees an at-least-once delivery. This means that in rare cases, an event can appear in more than one batch. Therefore, it is always important to develop your applications with item potency in mind. Now, if you're like me, you may not know what that means. Basically, it means build for the possibility of duplicates and code to protect against that. This has been a high-level overview of Amazon SQS. I encourage you to dig into the individual features of SQS to make it work well for you. For more information about Amazon SQS and other videos in the Serverless 101 series, follow this QR code. Again, my name is Eric Johnson, and you can connect with me at edjgeek on Twitter. Thank you.